angle shooter. You wanted to love her, and many of us actually kind of grew to hate her. It's so sad, because the angle shooter, in theory, sounded like a really fun sub-weapon. Now, it's being put on other weapons too, like the good old Slosher Deco, a weapon that was just announced today, and has angle shooter and also zipcaster. Honestly, zipcaster slosher sounds really fun. <laughs> But of course it does have the angle shooter, which is something that people are going to have to get used to. The argument that people are using for angle shooter slosher is the angle shooter does 30 damage, while the slosher deco does 70. However, most content creators these days, as well as competitive players, will tell you, hey, you should be running some sub defense. And as long as you have at least one sub of sub defense on your clothes, you um you don't take 30 damage from the angle shooter, ruining the combo instantly. And that's kind of a big problem for how this weapon is supposed to work. Obviously, Nintendo isn't gonna give us our burst bomb slosher as much as we want it again, like in Splatoon 1. <sighs> Unless they, you know, randomly drop it on us for a Sheldon's pick. So this might be the closest thing that we get to a quick sub weapon that also works with the slosher. At least for, you know, the regular slosher. Could still see burst bomb on, let's say, tri slosher. Is this combo unworkable? Absolutely not. An opponent gets hit by your slosh, they get stuck in your ink. You don't hit them right away, but they also don't heal because they don't get out of your ink, and bang, the angle shooter still takes the kill. Maybe you're running around, throwing your slosh, throwing your shooter, you don't get the kill, but then one of your teammates finishes them off. I mean, hey, it's not like the sub defense is gonna be making them take only like five damage from your angle shooter, right? And there is still benefits to throwing that angle shooter. If you're in a fight with an opponent, and you have that angle shooter line just kind of going on the ground somewhere, and your opponent is busy fighting you, they're probably not paying attention to it. They might trip over it. Does it do damage? No. But what it does do is mark your opponent, which is pretty useful. If you're in a fight with somebody and you have a slosher in your hands, and you know where your opponent is hiding, it's very easy just to slosh over a wall, to take a curve slosh, or just do a variety of tricks to make them still get splatted very quickly. Many touted the angle shooter as what was gonna be a replacement for the point sensor. People thought, oh, why did my weapon get point sensor when it could have angle shooter, which seems so awesome. And then it came out and people were like, wow, I'm happy that I still have point sensor on my explusher. <laughs> Because while it can be a great tool to use, the angle shooter is also a difficult tool to use. Whereas you can just take your point sensor, throw two of them in the general direction of where all your opponents are, and probably end up marking like two or three people if people are close and bunched up near the base. The angle shooter wants to be more than a pinpoint point sensor. Will it be? Eh. Please, for a moment, just imagine throwing a couple of angle shooters. You don't get any kills with them, but you have your zip caster ready. You pop up into the air. You go exactly where your opponents are hiding and bang, slosh, or even better, even better. You take the zip caster. You go somewhere your opponents are not going to be at the advantage that you have, and then you slosh. Remember, the slosher class weapons, including the machine, are able to fire shots at different angles than most other weapons are able to handle. If you have a height advantage on your opponent and you're using a slosher, you, you, you naturally just win. This also begs the question of, like, how do we make the angle shooter better? Not just for the slosher, but for all weapons in particular. I mean, especially for the slosher deco, because I want to use it, but... <laughs> the three simplest things that could be done to the angle shooter are, number one, increase its raw damage bringing it up just a little bit, that so it can combo well with more weapons, would be very helpful for the angle shooter. If the angle shooter was, let's say, like a 35 damage sub instead of 30, it would work a lot better not only with the slosher, but also with stuff like the jet. Who knows what weapons they might put the angle shooter onto in the future too, which would benefit from seeing it do a little bit more damage. If you want to increase the effectiveness of the angle shooter, you also have the option of just making the line that the angle shooter leaves behind a bit wider. The reasoning behind this is that so opponents, you know, are, are more likely to walk into the line. And also, when you throw the angle shooter in the first place, you have a better shot at actually being a nuisance for your opponent. A wider line could also be more annoying for opponents that are trying to stay out of the way of it while in a fight, not only with you, but also with your teammates. 
think about how annoying it would be if you're like somewhere up high and you drop on down and you happen to like whiff the edge of the angle shooter's line as you're falling down. That's, that's so annoying. But that's exactly what the angle shooter players want. If your aim is really good with the angle shooter already, this would only be beneficial to you anyway. I do think the best way to make the angle shooter more effective would just be to make the line do some damage. It's like how when you walk into a splash wall in Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 3, it, it doesn't kill you, but it does force you to take a little bit of damage and knock you back. I, I don't think the angle shooter line would ever cause knockback. It would be funny if they made you slow, but I, I don't think it would ever do knockback. Imagine you run into the line of the angle shooter and it just bounces you back into your opponent, sloshier in hand. I, I, I would love that, I would love that, but I think that it would be a little busted. And while thinking about this, I kind of realized the fourth option could just be to let you throw more of them. Not to imply the angle shooter doesn't already have a pretty low amount of ink that you need to throw it, but they brought it down even more. Hey, if they do choose to do nothing at all to the angle shooter, do you think it would be fair if, let's say, they took the angle shooter and allowed you to throw three of them instead of two of them? Would that be a fair compromise? Throwing three angle shooters still would not be a one-hit KO, as you would only do up to 90 damage if you had the aim of the gods on your side. <laughs> I don't think that the angle shooter is an end-all be-all for the slosher deco. People are gonna use it anyway because it's, it's really pretty, it's blue and green, it looks really nice. I'm very happy again, as I mentioned in a previous video, that they're making each of the deco or alternative weapons look different enough that so you'll know exactly what weapon your opponent is holding right when the match starts. I'll use it because it looks nice, and it still looks fun. The biggest issue it's going to have is that it's not going to be able to paint too well for itself. But hey, that's why you've got uh, the Aerospray that they just announced. That one's got Sprinkler and Booyah Bomb, baby! <laughs> and you know what that means, right? That thing's going to be spamming Booyah Bomb? Like, ugh, like no tomorrow. And also, I guess it could paint the feet of the slosher player that's having a bit of trouble. Eh, no complaints. I, I would happily take that on my team in a good old turf war. Mind you, I don't know too much about Zipcaster, so I can't be the best resource about this, but when I think about Zipcaster, I, I don't really think about swimming, but it still is nice to have a special on the slosher that lets you swim around. Players that have been playing primarily slosher at this point are probably used to the idea of, oh, if I use my special, I'm only walking around and I can do nothing about this. But with the Zipcaster, you could use your special without giving up the ability to swim. If you need to get out of a bad situation, pop the Zipcaster and just sh straight up leave. Reposition, fire your shots at your opponent, and then you can go back scot-free. Hopefully. <laughs> It's surely a different kind of playstyle from the one that's offered from the original slosher, but I think that's the way that Nintendo wants it to be. They don't want to make the same weapon over and over and over again. That'd be like if they gave the next slosher just like suction bomb and booyah bomb. Whoa! Just basically a different bomb and another special that paints everything. Would people love that kit? Oh, oh yeah. Of course, Booyah Bomb is so fun. I have it on machine. I won't complain about it for even a second. But I can see that Nintendo probably wants to experiment with some different ideas. If they have intention on buffing the point sensor, if they have intention on buffing the angle shooter in any way, shape, or form, the slosher deco as well as other weapons that got the angle shooter early could finally benefit from that. Of course, we won't know for at least a few more days, probably until the chill season is very, very close. But till then, I will keep my fingers crossed. Thank you for listening, and feel free to share your opinions about the slosher deco or the point sensor or the angle shooter in the comments below. Have a good one.